So once we have our materials appropriately defined, the next step is to check whether this area and volume setting has been selected for volume computations and then tag each of the rooms within your building. Now from a selection from from a section view type VG on your keyboard look for rooms make sure this interior fill box is ticked and this space has to be dragged so that it covers the full region just like I'm doing right now so drag it up now you gotta ensure that each of these components are room banding so tick this box again it's the same for your walls make sure it's room banding and make sure that top constraints and base constraints are appropriately defined do the same for your floor this is just to avoid any technical issues when running the model now go to analyze you can play around with these energy settings location is set as camera and then we're going to be using building elements instead of conceptual masses the project phase it's really important that you ensure this is equal to the phase on each of these components so as you can see on the wall it's new construction so we've got to run the analysis on now um, project phase for additional settings you can select the building type so in my case it would be a school and then the operation schedule and then you can play with the HVAC system as well the um, conceptual types so construction methods basically so once you're happy with all of that let me first delete my original energy model create a new one run my simulation Press continue and once that has been achieved click on results and you get something which is similar to what you see right there on the screen so as you can see this is a full report which analyzes all the energy requirements of that building you can see the fuel and electricity usage